We start our team coverage tonight in Cumberland County, getting answers about the warnings last night. You know, not too many East Tennessee towns have outdoor sirens. WATE 6 on your side. Reporter Kirsty Cropper joins us live in Pleasant Hill where that EF0 touched down. Kirsty, that town does have an outdoor siren. That's right, and I'm actually standing where that tornado touched down, and that outdoor siren is located about less than half a mile away from we, where we are standing now. However, that siren did not go off. The mayor tells me that they never received a tornado warning to sound the alarm, but because the tornado hit here, one community about 15 miles east decided to sound their alarm. Lieutenant Kate Self has been working for the Fairfield Glade Police Department for five and a half years. You can't really plan for everything that we see as first responders on our job. Um, initially, you know, it's a little shocking, but everything that we may come across is shocking. What she saw yesterday in front of her police station falls into that shocking category. There was no alert. Um, for anybody in the county. Um, it was just very unexpected for everybody. This was that view, a fellow officer taking this video from the sidewalk in front of their department. Although it was a 30 minute drive away, she says it's about five to 10 miles as the crow flies. That's why they did not hesitate to sound the alarm. Oh, Yesterday, although we didn't have a warning, enough. there was evidence of an emergency of that unexpected tornado touchdown, so that's why we initiated it. Self says the Fairfield Glade community has five outdoor sirens. They've had them for decades. With a lot of outdoor activities, they needed extra safety measures in place. Golf courses, lakes, racket sports, hiking trails. And to us, it's very important that we have those sirens because the main function of those sirens are to alert people outside to seek shelter. Because of that, they didn't hesitate to sound the alarm a second time. If people weren't bunkered down, they needed to be. A second siren was initiated by us um, when we actually received the tornado warning from the National Weather Service and from our Cumberland County EMA. Fortunately, Fairfield Glade did not suffer any damage. Now I did reach out to the National uh, Weather Service in Nashville about why a tornado warning was never issued before this tornado tor uh, came down. I have not heard back yet, but Lieutenant Self wanted to remind the community that the outdoor sirens are just one safety measures in place and they're really for out people who are outdoors. So she says the community really needs to get other safety measures in place like have a NOAA weather radio or download weather apps like ours, the WATE 6 on your side weather app. Reporting live in Pleasant Hill, Kirstie Crawford, WATE 6 on your side.